This is Ryan at Scaled Instruments. I'm going to show you how to change your anemometer wind speed cartridge on your Davis 6410 anemometer. Why would you want to change the cartridge? Well, after some time, the uh, bearings tend to seize up uh, due to weather exposure and uh, whatnot, and uh, the wind cups will uh, begin to not, not spin under low speed wind. So what do we do to remedy this? We change the wind speed cartridge. This is a wind speed cartridge. It is model number 7345.953. This wind speed cartridge will not fit all Davis anemometers. There is an old style anemometer that looks like this. The old style anemometer has a straight body from the top down to the very bottom, and then it flares out. This diagram is missing the wind vane, just for reference. The new style starts with a flat side, but then it flares in, and then it flares back out. It's an hourglass-shaped anemometer. So here they are side by side. Straight body, flared. I think there is a way you could probably change the bearings in this, but I've never tried it. Anything's possible. I just don't, uh, I just don't know how easy it would be to do. But the new style is extremely easy. So let's show you how to do that. Here is an anemometer, Davis 6410. And first thing we want to do is to remove the wind cups. You should have your, uh, hopefully you saved your Allen wrench that came with your Davis weather station. If you didn't, this is Davis model 7802.090. It can probably be bought locally at a hardware store. It is uh, a 0 0.05 inch Allen wrench. So we want to first remove our wind cups. Turn it counterclockwise until it's not grabbing anymore. Simply pull them off. Set them to the side. Uh, the only thing left for us to do at this point is to remove this one Phillips head screw. Counterclockwise. And be careful because you don't want to lose the washer. There is a washer. Set that aside. And to get the wind speed cartridge off, Simply pop it out. That's it. So one interesting thing about the new style anemometers is that right there is the sensor. It is not a reed switch like the old style was and tend to fail mechanically. This is a solid state Hall effect sensor. Should give you many years of use. So to replace, to install the 7345.953, reverse your procedure. Put this in there, like so, and snap it into place just like that. And then you're going to want to put your screw back in and put it, screw it back in until it's snug. Not too much pressure, not too much torque. And then you're going to want to put your wind cups back on. I recommend pushing it down till it stops and then backing it off ever so slightly so you're not rubbing the body of the um, anemometer with the wind cups. Tighten as so. Not too much torque, 
don't need it. And that is the job. You just replaced your Davis 7345 9.953. Thank you.